So I finally decided that uh, it was about time to upgrade my dust collection system uh, before I've been working with um, a Rutland's uh, trash can type collector uh, and I've now decided to go with um, a 4 inch um, separator uh, and a chip collector. So chip collector I bought was a 2 horsepower um, Fox extractor and I decided to go with an Axminster separator and I also went for the, the collection system below so it's a basically a plastic bag uh, with a cage inside which collects all the chips and, and sawdust before it actually gets to the extractor or at least that's the, the idea haven't really tested it in, in earnest yet um, from what I have read um, and from my own experience with my small dust deputy on my shop vac I would say that it should take most of the dust out of the air uh, potentially in the future if I find that it's that the dust is still getting into the air I may replace the bag on the top of the extractor uh, with one of those cartridge filters that I, I, I see uh, on the deer vacuum systems um, I've also decided to install some pipe work to the to the the separator uh, so that I'm not having to drag the vacuum cleaner or the dust chip extractor around the shop behind me. Uh, putting the whole thing together I found reasonably easy. Uh, the Axminster uh, dust separator cyclone um, was pretty easy to set up. The, the cyclone itself comes as one piece and you just attach uh, hoses to each side. Uh, the bottom took a, a little bit more work to, to put together. Um, it all came flat pack including the internal cage and lots of bolts and washers. Um, the instructions were reasonably clear I have to say. Um, it didn't take that long to put it together and I'm pretty happy with how it all has turned out so far. Um, so uh, moving then on to the extractor, uh, I hadn't read originally intended to, to to buy a chip separator. I was hoping to continue to use my um, Rutland's uh, extractor, the tr trash can extractor, extractor. But uh, when I connected it up to the system, it, it became fairly obvious right away that it just wouldn't have the airflow. Um, and to be fair it's not really designed to do that it works much better when it's beside the machine um, but then that, that means that you have to move it around the shop uh, you're tripping over leads, you're tripping over hoses and it's not really um, as effective as it, it could be um, just because of the way it works it's, it's basically it's a, a sized up vacuum cleaner as opposed to the chip extractor which uh, has a, a much greater airflow through it uh, now the, the Fox chip extractor that I've bought, uh, basically got it at a, a decent price, uh, which is my reason for going for it. Also, uh, at the minute in Northern Ireland it's getting pretty hard to buy uh, equipment, especially from England. Um, a lot of uh, companies uh, find it difficult to ship things over here uh, to the extent that they're refusing to ch uh, ship to Northern Ireland. Um, so this one here comes. Um, Time will tell. The filter bag's not great. It's only um, 35 micron. Um, I'm hoping that the the, the Axminster separator will take virtually everything out of the air because otherwise this will put um, some of the finer dust into the air. Thankfully now I don't uh, really work very often with MDF, so uh, shouldn't be such a big problem with the planer or with the the, the lathe, except whenever I'm actually sanding. Um, not a big fan of the bag in the bottom and, uh, and I will replace that uh, at my, um, as soon as possible with a plastic uh, bag um, mainly because I can imagine this has been quite messy and dirty uh, to change. Uh, the extractor itself has two outlets uh, one I have, pl I have piped into the uh, chip separator and the other one I've just capped off I don't really intend using it where possible I'm going to uh, use 
uh, the various outlets that have, have now piped in uh, around the shop. Again, I bought a um, a package from Axminster, which is just a, a basic starter kit with uh, some clear paving uh, and joints. Um, uh, but I'll I'll talk about that again uh, on another video. Anyway, uh, I'm now going to fire up my planer thicknesser just to see just how this works. So just bear with me when I move the camera.
Two of the bags. So there's a, there's a tiny amount of dust in the, in the lower bag, very little. Uh, but you can see now I've been using it, as I say, for three or four days. I mean, I've gathered up about half a bag here in the actual uh, separator collector. The inside of the, the bag is a little dusty, but nothing more than that. Um, and as for the upper bag, well, there looks to be no dust in it at all. It looks to be reasonably clean, if not as clean as when I first put it on. Uh, inside the, the palm, on the top of the machine, there's no dust to touch. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that's went so far. Um, and as I say, I'm hoping in the future to probably replace this with a cartridge and certainly will be replacing the bottom bag uh, with a plastic bag, but I'm not overly fond of the cloth bag down here, although it, it seems to be doing a job. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I suppose I would say that uh, my impression of this here is that it's worth the money. Uh, certainly if you want to look after your lungs and, and try and keep your workshop tidy and clean, definitely worth the money. Uh, comes in three options, so the option I went for, hoping originally to be able to use my, my trash can except, a, extractor, was the separator and the collection, uh, and the collection bin on the, uh, below. Um, as I explained already, then it, it became obvious almost right away that the, uh, the trash can extractor just hadn't enough uh, suction. There wasn't enough airflow coming through this year to make it effective. Um, had I known then what I know now, I might have actually went for the, the next option up from this, where you get the, uh, this here all, plus uh, the motor and a frame and, and wheels that it all mounts into. Uh, I believe it would have been a, a, a probably in the long run would have saved me a few pounds and certainly saved me some floor space. Um, if you've already got a, a, an extractor similar to this chip extractor, then this is a good option. Uh, if you don't really want to spend as much as this here, if it was 153 quid, um, then there's an option where you can just buy the, uh, the, the top part here on its own, the, the, the separator on its own, and then make your own uh, uh, collection bin for it. Out of, uh, there's plenty of videos online where, where people have shown uh, how to make uh, dustbin uh, uh, collection containers for these uh, types of uh, separators. So if I was to buy it again, I might buy the entire unit as one. Uh, having said that, the unit is a one and a half horsepower motor, whereas the extractor I have here is a two horsepower. Um, that extra power might make a slight difference. Uh, probably does. Uh, but then it's the, the, the complete unit comes with the cartridge filter as well. Uh, it's uh, going up on seven hundred pound for the for the complete unit. Say one hundred and fifty three for this particular. Uh, Unit that I bought here, and I believe it's 115 uh, to just buy this, the separator cyclone on its own. So, uh, would I recommend it? Yes, definitely. Um, if you're interested in buying it, I'd have no uh, compunction whatsoever in recommending uh, the yeah. Xmonster cyclone separator. Um, definitely, it seems to have done a good job for me, and I believe it will do the same for, for others. Uh, read it as a craft machine. Uh, but in a small garage workshop like myself where I, where I work part time, uh, more than adequate. Probably for a small professional workshop, I would say it probably uh, do the same. And then uh, x -Monster then also do much larger professional um, separators um, and extractors that, that, that bolt onto it or connect onto it. Um, but they're uh, much more expensive than, than any of the three options that are available in the craft range. So thanks for watching and uh, see you.